مساء الكركم مشاهدين بتاع دي اف سي تي في في جوا هنا دي دي بيس فاللا انا بيجبلتم برنامج بتاع جواز قال الله ايماد ورا ان كان ونس ان بركات في بيت بين مرا ورجل او اللا انا برا اسماء ان مهليه بتاع بيت قصتان الناس المجازين مرا ورجل هنا بروا على بلتم في كليفس بتاع ماما تنينا ماما دوروتي رابي على بقدر بورلنا كتير عن مهلية بتاع بتاع بيت ولا بتاع ناس على جوز ونفارين على جوز بدون بيجا واحد جسم our viewers of DFC TV in the house today is the bees and we have a topic about marriage Oh, last time I talked about uh, blessings in the family, so today we'll be joined with our mother, Mama Dorothy Rabi, whom we're going to play her clips, uh, teaching about finances in the marriage. Please stay tuned and remember this hour is sponsored by MTN. Uh, join me right away. We are taking you to the clips of Mama Dorothy Rabi, who is going to teach us. So stay tuned as you listen to the teaching from Mama Dorothy Rabi. Mustamin, kali ku mana ader bernama bida DFC TV, jima mama gurah dirusinna an mahliya bida bed. Fa stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Debbie's Family Comedy and follow us on our TikTok. At DFC TV 2022. Matansa itakede subscribe YouTube channel tena at Davis Family Comedy. O kama itakede ra warena ulita be click haja bugulu plus fi haja ah merkida plus pi TikTok. O day itagi follow na na tawal itakede ra bana bariku tum salom. Hello my viewers, fans, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to follow my teachings on. Finances in marriage, um, grow therapy, and I normally deal with handling our issues in families. Finances in marriage, yeah, or the original plan of God it was if a man joins the wife. If his father and mother they become one with the wife and God's purpose was to do everything in common in oneness just because of the the human nature the wickedness of a man by a man I mean a woman and a husband uh, money has become a root cause of evil in marriages. It has brought conflicts, it has brought wrangling, it has brought separation, divorce, court cases, and deaths. Many people have died. You hear a man has killed a wife because of money. You hear a wife has a wife has killed a husband because of money. So as the world has been evolving the goodness of a human being via a wife and husband has died it's only a few occasions that you can find that people work together and build up family and join man together and achieve their goals so for that matter should we ask ourselves should married couples join finances should they have a, a, a joint business should they have a joint assets and what are the advantages and disadvantages? What are the positive and ne negative repercussions? From the analysis and the study that people have carried on and from what is going on in the world, you can find that the negative impacts as far as if man is joined together as a family as outweigh the positive ones because of the wickedness of a human being. So for, for that matter, what should we do if we can make carry out a consensus if we can do democracy and we say can we vote should women and men separate their finances you might find that 80 percent will support 
every couple should have their own fund finances and businesses or assets separately for that reason this one it it gives security to the man side of the man and side of the woman so uh, I would say to my own observations that if marriage is to stay and have peace, man and a woman should separate their fund finances for the future stability of their marriage, for future stability of the children, for the security of children is the future. I would suggest funds, projects, companies, assets should be separated so that everyone has his own in case a woman doesn't have capital obviously the man can fund and support give like an offer and allow a woman to build up herself so i just want to thank you and appreciate you next time another series bye bye